How's it going out there? This is Feed Your Mind. And so there's this new web telescope that scientists have launched. They say it's like orbiting in the sky. It's like a probe or something that is supposed to be able to determine and look back into the origins of the universe. And this TMZ guy was hosting while well, he was interviewing Neil deGrasse Tyson and he was getting all excited. He's like, so the host Harvey was like, um, basically saying, well, this will prove religion's wrong, right? This was this will prove the Big Bang Theory, basically. It's like this host Harvey, he, he, it's like he has something against religion or something I kind of picked up on just based on his excitement and passion about how this web telescope is supposed to look back into the origins of the universe. And he was like asking Neil deGrasse Tyson, like trying to get confirmation that this would definitely be the end of religion after this right basically he's trying to figure out and you know that's that shows how un, uneducated a lot of these science people are it's like these science these people who love science not not the scientists themselves not so much them but more like the the people that follow science they just they believe every word science tells them uh they don't know that they're actually in a religion because it's like they they don't question anything science says. They say, oh, they're they're all that's a committee. They're saying science is organized, and they're all just basically on a mission for truth. Like they're truth seekers. It's like they don't. He doesn't understand the history of the heliocentrism. Is like so. Neil was saying, well, you know, he was just trying to kind of dance around the answer. I mean, he was just Neil deGrasse Tyson was saying, well, I don't know. It, it, he was like, it was a lot of fluff. Basically, it was like, basically, this web telescope isn't going to prove anything. I mean, because you can tell your, your question, the questioning is all wrong. Like, heliocentrism is actually a religious concept because what I'm saying is it shows how uneducated most people are that believe in the heliocentrism model is because they don't understand that. The concept of the Big Bang came from a Jesuit Catholic priest that went by the name of George Lamonte, I believe his name was. And yeah, this this guy was he came up with the heliocentric, well, the the Big Bang theory. And another fun fact for you science lovers out there who who don't understand this stuff is well, here, here's the other fun fact. It's that heliocentrism itself is a catholic model is a catholic religious model and that's the thing it's like that gets lost in the mix it's like people try to say like oh the, the religion of catholicism well they're saying the christians once believed the earth was flat and then science came and had to teach them and educate them that no the earth is a heliocentric globe spinning ball and um that's the story we all heard growing up, but that's not true. It's no, the, the Roman Catholics invented heliocentrism back in the times of Copernicus and Galileo. And then hundreds of years later, they created the Big Bang Theory by, an, by another Catholic priest. So it wasn't this made up story that everybody says like, oh yes, um, a, a Christianity just, um, succeeded um conceded that science was right and they were wrong no it's like and then the, the modern christians try to adopt the theory and then still hold on to their biblical beliefs by saying well god created the big bang to happen and it's like they're just trying to like latch on to what science has educated how, how science has kind of like took over the whole idea of where we live and they just they they've been using a heavy hand too as like they got they got their way by using uh, heavy-handed tactics it's like you weren't allowed to believe on your own back then it was like if you believed in the um flat earth after after um the catholic church had decided that the earth was a um, heliocentric globe you it's like you weren't allowed to think like that it's like you weren't you, you weren't allowed to have your own thoughts back then it was like you you would be a heretic and sentence uh, harsh punishments and all that just before believing on your own so it wasn't like a natural process like they try to make it so 
Yeah, people were forced into heliocentrism for hundreds of years, and now they've forgotten that it's a Catholic idea. Um, yeah, so it's the Roman Catholics are responsible for the heliocentric globe model, and um, it doesn't. So if you're trying, if Harvey is trying so hard to prove religion wrong, I, like so, that's basically saying that the idea that was pushed forward by religion is gonna prove religion wrong like no it's they 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 came up with this heliocentric model for a reason and uh it's there's a lot of reasons one of them is to hide creation because once you realize that the earth the globe earth math doesn't add up and once you realize that the heliocentric model doesn't add up you'll start finding more and more evidence that oh this is a created place for sure like the earth realm that we live in is not anything like what we've been told by science so that shows us that this earth is um you, you start seeing a lot of evidence of creation that science has been trying to hide from us and so the roman catholics were definitely involved in all this i mean they were even involved in the um what happened to jesus because jesus was down here doing miracles and uh, raising people from the dead and all types of stuff and they silenced him they were they were involved in silencing him, and some people might say it was his own people, Jesus' own people. But no, the the Romans were involved in that. Um, they were also involved in the Romans were also involved in getting rid of all of his disciples and a lot of Christians. The followers were all executed as well. So yeah, they were covering up stuff. They didn't want people to know the truth about Christianity and uh, religion and the earth. So. It's like they, they were all involved in a, a lot of the modern concepts like heliocentric, the heliocentric model. And um, so, yeah, the Big Bang Theory is a Roman Catholic idea. So Harvey should probably educate himself on that before he, you know, and, and maybe that might raise some red flags for some, some of you atheists out there that believe in the heliocentric model and the, um, the Big Bang Theory so much. You might... It might um like what do you think about that that now that you understand that all of that information came from the Roman Catholic Church, and it's like what side is the Roman Catholic Church on at at this point for them to even come up with that concept? I mean, I know a lot of Christians try to say like i said they they try to say like the Big Bang theory was originated by God, like put into motion by God, like that's their only way to get a um get away with still believing in such a model, but I don't know if you ask me i mean. That's that's the, that's the interesting theory to try to say God was involved in all of that. But when you start to see like, oh, there's no globe Earth curvature and the whole thing about planets and you start to realize they're not really solid objects and you start to realize the truth, you start to see, well, no, the whole the whole idea is nonsense and absurd. And it is responsible. The heliocentric model is responsible for um, evolution and all that stuff, all the other science um theories that are put out here as truth now so the big bang theory if if if, if you if you're a christian and you believe in the heliocentric model and you refuse to question it then to me you, you you're you're um endorsing the big bang theory which is the accidental earth theory that scientists want everybody to believe because what's the chance of what's the chance of such a theory being pushed forward on us that has led to atheism directly the heliocentric model is res directly responsible for atheism because without that you have the truth you, you have the truth about creation once once you realize that we don't live on a heliocentric globe ball spinning in outer space and it's, you know that it all comes together as one big package deal when you got the big bang theory heliocentrism and evolution it's all to remove God from the equation. And uh, it, 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 to me, it was intentional. It was an intentional addition to our um, science. And the Roman Catholics had installed that into science. And to me, the Roman Catholics are the remaining Roman Empire. It's like the new Roman Empire is now disguised as the Roman Catholic Church, in my opinion. So, yeah, anyways, like... Harvey, it's it's like Harvey thinks that this whole Webb telescope is supposed to enlighten the world and show the world that Earth is one big accident. He just like he just can't wait for that 
proof to come out that Earth is an accident by looking into the origins of the universe through, through the Webb's telescope. And it's like, no, um, you're not going to get, you know, you might, I mean, I wouldn't put it past it for scientists to try to figure out a way to make people believe they have proof because that's what they do. They try to, it's like they're biased. They're, they're, it's not it's not an unbiased science equation that they're looking for. They're trying to prove what they want people to believe. It's like, and they find ways somehow, it looks like, to some, to, for people to just believe what they're saying. So they might try to pull something like, oh, look what we discovered. We discovered the Big Bang. And it's like, you know, they just get people to believe them. I mean, it, it's a religion. I mean, they're in a religion. The atheists are in a religion. And, the, and for Christians to just so... Like just to concede this whole concept of the heliocentric model is just like you're to me you're conceding to the Big Bang accidental Earth theory. So it's time to start challenging these uh, heretics. Uh, um, basically, let's let's start. I mean, there's plenty of proof out there. There's plenty of proof to figure out that this Earth is not a heliocentric model and um, the Earth is not a globe and all that. So. It's time to start challenging these science cause, the scientists because they they they're, tr they're covering up and hiding the truth about this world, and they don't want people to realize that this world is a created place. So, I'll leave a link to the TMZ interview with Neil deGrasse Tyson in the comment section in the description box. I'll also leave a link to my heliocentric deception playlist. And if you'd like to donate to this channel, you can donate as little as a dollar to help keep things going here at Feed Your Mind. Your your support will help me get back to my documentary style videos. You know, the video, those videos take a lot of time to make, so I, I'm going to just need a little more support on my Patreon channel to um, to help get those videos start um, getting back out there. I can start releasing them again. So, anyways, um, I'll also leave links to my social media and my other channels. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. This has been Feed Your Mind, signing off.